will kick uh, uh, off uh, right away. Uh, and I'm happy to invite Cecilia Berg from Mandometer, who will uh, uh, teach us, who will talk about machine eating. Welcome, Cecilia. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Merit Johansson, Stefan Berg, and Magnus Persson for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. The um, first industrial revolution began in Britain in the late 18th century with the mechanization of the textile industry and the factory was born. The second industrial revolution came in the early 20th century when Henry Ford mastered the moving assembly line and ushered in the age of mass production. The third industrial revolution is underway Manufacturing is going digital, illustrated by the 3D printer. This um, will change not just business, but healthcare besides. Healthcare is going digital. There are more than one and a half billion overweight people globally. Obesity is on the rise and no one knows how to stop it. Manometer is a biofeedback device that teaches you how to eat and how to perceive satiety. It measures eating rate and fullness and allows the eater to compare her eating speed with uh, normal individuals eating a similar meal. We encourage the obese to slow down their eating and become uh, full quicker. And we train the anorexics to increase their eating speed and become less satiated. Uh, when um, eating behavior normalizes, the uh, hormonal pattern for hunger and satiety uh, is re-established. Manometer treatment has not only uh, assisted hundreds and hundreds of anorexics and bulimics resume normal eating habits and regain health, it has also been useful in helping the obese losing weight and keeping the weight off. Since I met my first patient in 1993, we have treated over 1,200 anorexics and bulimics to remission. And the aggregated savings are substantial, about 4.8 billion sec. Some uh, highlights. In 1996, we published in, Ma in Nature Medicine a framework for how anorexia nervosa developed and how it is maintained, and the clinical results in The Lancet. In uh, 1997 is a real milestone. We received our first uh, healthcare provider contract with Stockholm's Lens Lansting. In 2002, uh, we published a randomized controlled trial in the PNAS showing that 75% of patients of anorexics and bulimics will go in remission in about a year, and 10% uh, will relapse during a follow-up period of uh, five years and no mortality. In 2004, we started to treat morbidly obese children in the UK, resulting in a randomized controlled trial uh, comparing mandometer treatment with standard care for childhood obesity, and this was published in the BNJ, showing that uh, mandometer treatment resulted in a weight loss of 10 to 15 kilos, and ghrelin and PYY was re-established with the uh, children receiving mandometer treatment, but not with standard care. After seven years and 700 documents, we finally received clearance from the US FDA. And in 2013, we published a multi-center trial with uh, 1,428 patients from six clinics in four countries, replicating the findings of 2002, showing that 75% went in remission in about a year, 10% relapse during five years and no mortality. But, of course, the most important milestone, KI Science Park Day. During this period of time, almost 25 years, we started eight clinics for eating disorders and obesity in four countries, in Sweden, in Holland, in the United States, and in Australia. We need funding to uh, bring 
consumer man to meter and man to online to the market, we are more than ready to transfer the clinical offering to a digital setting. We, in this web portal, we will include the consumer man to meter, a, um, uh, we will replace the live clinicians with the virtual clinicians. We uh, have developed a satiety meter that extinguishes snacking in between meals. We will include education, me measurements for uh, uh, physical activity and body weight, uh, rewards and reminders. This is a new business. It's a direct-to-consumer business, and the uh, consumers are overweight people and normal weight people being conscious about their eating and weight. It is self-pay only. The consumer mandometer will cost around 300 euros. The um, subscription fee to Mand Online will be around 7 euros monthly. Revenue will be generated by uh, direct sales and recurrent subscription fees. Obesity is a huge market. There are one and a half billion overweight people globally, and about half of these are motivated to lose weight. 80% of those being motivated to lose weight are do-it-yourself dieters. A do-it-yourself dieter spend an average of 1,000 euros annually on diet products. We believe that within five to seven years, we can capture 2% of do-it-yourself dieters in um, Sweden, the UK, and the United States using Consumer Manometer and Mando Online. It doesn't require heaps of capital to go digital. We estimate that 4 million euros over five years to bring Consumer Manometer and Mando Online to the market. During the first 18 to 24 months, we will use 2 million euros to transfer the clinical offering to a digital setting to determine, to determine uh, target customer and customer segmentation, test marketing, and a new company will, before, will be found and staffed with marketing and sales expertise. So uh, what's the key investment highlights? It's a superior at home weight control method, proven clinical results, non-invasive, no side effects, strong IPR. We have 10 worldwide patents and two uh, pending patents. It's cleared by Swedish MPA, the US FDA, and the Australian Therapeutic Goods Administration. The market is huge. It's estimated to grow to 800 billion euros during 2016. And it is a well-balanced business model. Revenue will be generated through um, direct sales and uh, uh, recurrent subscription fees. And here are some of our patients. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>